A breast cancer survivor is, is expecting her first child through a surrogate. Nicole Fierro spoke to Annabelle McLean about her battle and the process of family planning before she went into treatment. Learning about a cancer diagnosis is shocking news at any age, but for Annabelle McLean. I was diagnosed with uh, stage three breast cancer in November 2019. You know, even though she was 30 years old and most women are told, hey, you're too young to get breast cancer at 30, she actually went in and said, no, something just doesn't feel right here. Advocating for her health at 30, just a year into her marriage, also came with another big decision. My mom, um, she held my hand and she said, or she asked Dr. Griffith, what does this mean for, for Annabelle's fertility? What does this mean for, ch for childbearing? And it was almost as if she read Dr. Griffith's mind because that was really the next piece. After chemotherapy and some of the anti-estrogen treatments, infertility can be as high as 30 to 40% for women. Um, and so again, you, you have this dichotomy and paradox of, hey, you have a life-threatening illness. Let's get you to the things we need to save your life. But whoa, whoa, back up for just a second. You know, what does your future look like? And do you want to be a mother? Right away, McLean made the decision to go through IVF before chemotherapy and cancer treatment. And we were really lucky that we were able to retrieve um, eight healthy embryos. Um, for which we just said, we'll just put those on ice and, and see what we want to do with those later. Fast forward to later, McLean now cancer free for four and a half years, getting ready to not only hold the title of survivor, but mama now too. We are now 30 weeks pregnant with our neighbor <laughs> and surrogate who is so fantastic and so generous and a completely amazing and just generous human being. Katie, a neighbor helping McLean and her husband become parents to a daughter. You know, cancer forces you to deal with really difficult change and I'm looking forward to finally facing a very welcoming change for our family.